Seeing as Godzilla died at the end of the last film, this couldn't possibly be another Godzilla film, right? Well, if you're watching the English dub version, it isn't. It's Gigantus, the fire monster. Ugh. Yes, in 1959, American audiences were apparently so stupid that they could be told that a monster that looks exactly like Godzilla in every way possible was in fact a totally different creature, and believe it. The film plays out like a sort of documentary, with every single thing happening on screen being narrated by the main character. Like so. I am flying my plane through the air. I am looking out the window over the ocean. Oh, look, a fish. A fish is an amphibious creature that swims through the ocean and... The film centers around two pilots who work for a tuna cannery in Osaka who hunt for schools of fish. While on one particular flight, the two men come across two monsters locked in Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat! Anyway, the two monsters are Godzilla and Anguirus. Anguirus, of course, making his first of many appearances in this franchise. After this discovery, Japanese authorities scramble to find a solution to the Godzilla problem, which of course proves difficult because the man who developed the weapon that killed the first Godzilla was killed in the process and never revealed the secret of his device. This explanation, of course, is very iffy in the American version because this isn't supposed to be Godzilla. After spending half the movie battling in short scuffles, Godzilla handily whoops Anguirus's spiky butt and promptly fries him to a nice extra crispy with his atomic breath. I usually prefer original recipe when I have fried Anguirus, but, you know, whatever. Uh, the second half of the movie meanders for a while until the Air Force decides to bury Godzilla under a mountain of ice. You would think a giant fire-breathing dinosaur would just burn his way out of the ice rather than be trapped in it for seven years, but you'd be wrong. Wait, what? Man, if you thought the 2014 film had little in the way of monster battles, you gotta see it is. Whatever is featured here is quite good, though. They slim down the Godzilla suit considerably from the first film, and it shows. The fights between the two monsters are pretty energetic. And as much as I hate the American version, not to sound pretentious, I do like that the, char the main character is dubbed over by George Takei. That's as close as we'll ever get to Godzilla vs. Star Trek, folks. Again, not to sound pretentious, but the American version really, 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 really sucks. The dubbing is so bad, even by Godzilla standards, and, well, we all know about those standards. The narration is pointless, unless you're blind. You know, come to think of it, maybe this is the movie that originated those descriptive video service audio tracks that you see on every movie now. I hadn't thought of that until just now. Anyway, changing Godzilla to Gigantus is really confusing and senseless, and to make it even worse, they dubbed over every single Godzilla roar with Anguirus's roar. So now, they both monsters have the exact same roar, the explanation being that they're supposed to be the same species. Yeah, these two are totally twins, even though they don't look at all alike. <laughs> yeah, that idea will never make a dime. Oh, right. Uh, lastly, killing off Anguirus in the first half of the film is a huge mistake. For starters, he doesn't even come close to matching Godzilla in terms of physicality, but this is supposed to be the first Godzilla film where he fights another monster. You can't just kill off his opponent midway through the movie. The second half drags so much because of it. I mean, Anguirus is much better as Godzilla's ally, which is the role he would fill in most of his subsequent appearances. The film has its moments, but there aren't many of them. Gojira and Godzilla King of the Monsters is certainly a tough act to follow, and while the film certainly tries its best, it just lacks the same intensity or charm. Or it, it lacks. We'll just leave it at that. The series starts to move into B-movie territory with this one, 
but it still has ties to its predecessor, causing a bit of an identity crisis, which kind of hurts the film. The Japanese original, Godzilla Raids Again, also known as Godzilla's Counterattack, I give two and a half out of five stars. American Redux, which rhymes with sucks, <laughs> I'll stop now. Uh, Gigantus the Fire Monster, the American version, rates a lowly one and a half out of five stars for me. Well, I think I've bashed this movie enough. Join me next time as I review the cheesiest Godzilla film of them all. Oh, and uh, keep on the lookout for my new project concerning film rants. Bye, everybody. Thank you.